SS Sniper Wolf. She's been in this community for a long time. She used to be a Call of Duty YouTuber. We've known her for a decade. She's always been a piece of sh There's so much drama going on right now. Hey, what is up all my social climate friends? It's Dustin and I'm back with another video. We have a lot to cover, so let's just jump into it. Since I've become somewhat of a Trisha Paytas channel, I figured I'd give you guys the latest updates on what's going on between her and Ethan. It's not really too much, but Ethan did like quite a few of Sean Vanderwild's tweets that read as follows. I'm planning something and it's way overdue. I can't actually wait. Hashtag truth. I saw a video someone made about me on YouTube and I really appreciate it and I appreciate all the messages and love and support XOXO to you all. Now, it doesn't really take a rocket scientist to see what's going on here. I I don't know if Ethan is liking these tweets from Sean Bender Wilt to get under Trisha's skin or what, but for those of you that do not know the history of Trisha Paytas and Sean Bender Wilt, they did used to date, and it was this big breakdown in December of, I think, 2017 or 2016 when Trisha found out that Sean was bisexual because he allegedly kissed some man in a club and someone texted her, but that whole situation went massively viral. And you can thank that for part of the reason as to why Trisha is so, so popular these days on Twitter with the memes and everything. <laughs> but it was a very, very big deal. Now, obviously after Ethan liked this, it did get the attention of people and they started replying to Sean Vanderbilt's tweets. And here's what some of them had to say. For her to keep saying you were gay, trap you with suicide threats, and to this day to continue to tarnish your character, you deserve to defend yourself. I've been there before and stayed silent, but making the truth clearly public really set me free, even though it was so scary. He received a ton of hate the first time he ever tried to speak out. There has never been an opportunity for him to speak out and not receive hate until now. This is why Ethan and Mysterious do so good because it gives people the opportunity to speak speak out and not feel, and I'm just gonna assume that this person meant to say not feel attacked. And then someone else replied and said, I don't think it's about Trisha. If he wanted to speak his truth, he would have done it a long time ago when she kept targeting him on podcasts and videos. He is just playing with words to make it seem like it is about her, but it's not. He needs support for his projects. That's it. Now, I don't really know if this was for attention. It might have been because Sean is somewhat of an influencer himself, but if I had to give it my best guess, it's probably just Sean trying to drum up a little bit of drama around his name for a new project that he's gonna be doing. And we already know that Ethan did this to get under Trisha's skin, but you guys let me know what you think about that down below. So SS Sniper Wolf is getting called out now because some things that are being alleged against her are very, very, very nasty. This includes Keemstar as well as a few other people on Twitter that called her out. Now I'm not gonna sit here and act as if I'm very familiar with this person's content. I'm not, but I did take a quick look at her channel and this girl gets views. I was sitting there thinking to myself, Lord, I want this for myself. Like this would be amazing. Like how does she get so many views? But this whole thing is truly a mess. So to set the stage for you, I'm gonna play you Keemstar's video that he posted over over on Twitter calling her out. Then I'm gonna come back and read you all the receipts and give you all the tea. Trust me, it's so awful. I am so disgusted and appalled and heated right now. All right, we're talking about SS Sniper Wolf. She's been in this community for a long time. She used to be a Call of Duty YouTuber. We've known her for a decade. She's always been a piece of shit, all right? But over the last couple of years, she blew, uh, grew an empire on YouTube being a reaction channel. And a lot of kids like her and look up to her and fans of her. Adam22 from the No Jumper podcast hit me up a couple days ago, about a week ago, saying, hey, can you get me in contact with SS Sniper Wolf? There's this girl, she's 10 years old, she's dying of cancer. Her dream and her wish is to meet SS Sniper Wolf. And I told Adam22 right out, Leah, AKA Sexy Sexy Sniper, AKA Sniper Wolf is a piece of shit. Good luck with that. Anyhow, Adam trying to make this 10 year old's dreams come true, gets a hold of Sexy Sniper Wolf or SS Sniper Wolf. And she agrees to talk to the kid dying of cancer. She set it up with her mom. I got the text conversations. So they have a date to do it, right? Sniper Wolf blows it off, completely blows it off. She's posted on Instagram that she's out to dinner all right, she's, she's, she's out partying and living it up. And this 10 year old is literally dying right now, surrounded by friends and family, dying right now. Sniper Wolf just blew this entire thing. She, she had a scheduled time to FaceTime her and she just didn't do it. So Adam22 hits me up and he's like, Keem, you're right. She's a piece of shit. The kid's dying right now. I don't know what to do. I just saw the goddamn text messages between SS Sniper Wolf and the mom making a date of when to do this and a time when to do this. And she just blew it off. Like, you have to be a certain piece of shit to do this. Like, you are such a scumbag. If, if you see this at all, 
Make the FaceTime call right now because the kid is literally dying right now, you piece of So as you can imagine, after Keemstar went on his rant about Sniper Wolf on Twitter, she responded and had this to say. After all these years, you're still a piece of I was trying to set up a time to video chat before there was an issue with the time difference, so we rescheduled and the mother is trying to expose me now. Here's the chat. I told her multiple times I would love to video chat her daughter. We couldn't find a time that worked. My family is visiting and got sick, so I haven't had time. Then Keemstar tweeted out a screenshot of where Sniper Wolf blocked him and called him a scumbag. Then he went on to post a screenshot of her Instagram saying 39 minutes ago and it's her out to dinner. Then Keemstar went on to post an update tweet with messages from the family of this girl where Sniper Wolf said, no need to be rude. I said I would do it. It's Christmas and my family is visiting from out of town. Now, to some degree, I agree with Keemstar. This is a serious matter and it does have urgency. And I believe if she told the family that she was going to video chat with this girl, she totally should have. It would have only taken her 10 minutes. But then Keemstar went on to say, let me ask you a question. How long does it take to do a FaceTime with a fan? Five minutes, right? This woman is evil. And then Sniper Wolf was caught in a reply saying, are you dumb? I said I'm doing it, so I'm doing it. I never ghosted. I was trying to find a time that worked and she blocked me. And then Keemstar posted the entire conversation. Okay, so you guys have heard me mention these messages quite a few times, but the short of the whole situation is, I do believe that it was a misunderstanding. Do I think that Sniper Wolf should have showed a little bit of urgency to this family that's in need? 1000%. However, this situation has been rectified and there has been some postings from Sniper Wolf addressing this. On the video that she posted yesterday, she said the following, there seems to be a huge misunderstanding going around. I have a big fan who is terminally ill and the mother wanted me to speak to her because it would make her happy. I was trying to schedule time to talk to her because originally when I tried to talk, there was a time zone difference and the child was asleep. So I told her we can try again the next day because I keep my promises. When I tried to reschedule a time that could work for the child, I was suddenly blocked by the mother. I did not ghost or ignore the child. I kept trying to do it. The source of this twisted story is a known liar with no credibility, who does things to create drama. People are saying I horribly ignored this, which is absolutely not what happened. I have also spoken to the child privately now as well. I did everything I can to get in contact again, and I have sent her a video message and spent hours on the phone talking to the girl today. Sniper Wolf then posted the same thing on her Instagram, and then a message between her and Kiera that says, Hi, Kiera. Oh my God, thank you so much. You made my dream come true. I love you so much. Ah, I'm gonna make a video. And then Sniper Wolf replied and said, love you. I sent your mom a video. Did you see it? And she said, yep. As soon as you post it, I'm a watch. So like I said before, I do believe that there should have been some urgency there. However, as long as the outcome remained the same and the girl got her final wish, as long as she's happy, that's all that really truly matters in this situation. I do think as social media influencers, we could do a better job when things like this are requested of us, but at least this situation has been rectified. But you guys, please let me know your thoughts and opinions on this down below. I hope you all have an amazing evening and I will see you all in my next video. Bye, guys.